Okay, guys, so when you're getting into your agroforestry system, in the beginning, if you're starting with a big open pasture, your original goal is really just to close your canopy with anything, whether it's bananas, plantains, pioneers, existing, you know, any existing tree cover that you have, just letting that grow up. And then you get to a point at about four to five years in, if you're in a subtropical system, where you need to actually start opening the canopy back up. Because, because you can see where I'm standing now, it's gotten a little bit dark. And this was never dark before. This was just a wide open pasture, just bright sun, blinding sun, really brutal. But we've allowed the canopy to close up a little bit and it's actually gotten a little bit dark. So now in time, it becomes important to open the canopy back up so that you can actually see the sky because in the beginning, your saplings actually need a little bit of shade. Yeah, they're, they're very tender, the leaves are very tender. And if they're there under the brutal sun, they just have a tendency to get burned. But then the saplings get to a point where they're at about this high. This is a zapote or a, a, a mammy. And uh, did I say that right? Mame? Mame, yeah? And um, as you can see, it's getting a little bit too much shade because now the lower leaves are starting to get a lot of epiphytes growing on them. It's not a disease. It's not a big deal. It's just showing that it's just a little bit too much in the shade. So what I did is I just opened up the canopy a little bit over the sapote tree so I can start to get some light. And then the it's ready. Like it's basically ready now to be on its own. It doesn't need a nurse plant anymore. And understanding when your target cultivars have, they don't need their nurse anymore, you need to know when to take the nurse away because the nurse will go from protecting the plant to overshadowing the plant, just like an overprotective parent. You can think of it like that. And then when you're taking your nurse plants away or your pioneers or your senescence phase or whatever you want to call it, whatever like agroforestry system you believe in. I personally don't believe in any system because I'm just a farmer. And all the systems to me are like, eventually they become closed, right? So you got to keep opening your system up to what's practical for you in the moment. It's not just about a system. It's about doing what makes sense on a day-to-day -day basis. So here we are. The sapling is now large enough to exist without its nurse, without its parent, without its placenta, whatever you want to call it. I don't really care. And you can take parts of the parent or the nurse and break it up and leave it right there on the soil creating entropic residues in syntropic agroforestry terminology that are going to break down yeah and become a new form of life that then enter into syntropic phase for this uh, plant so in plain english that just means you're basically composting in place at the base of the tree with a mix of carbon woody fiber and nitrogen all mixed together feeding the soil, feeding the microorganisms, and now nourishing the plant because it doesn't really need protection from the air anymore. But what it does need is food from the soil. Hey folks, so thank you so much if you've subscribed. We recently hit 500 subscribers, little tiny milestone here on YouTube. So if you wanna help the channel grow, that is the best way to do it. Please subscribe and help us hit that thousand, thousand subscriber mark. YouTube's already got ads on all my videos. So please help us get to a thousand. Um, we also have a Patreon page and that is what helps to fund these videos, pay for our internet, my time and energy out here making these videos for you guys because we really want to spread the word about agroforestry. So please check out our Patreon, lots of exclusive benefits up there for you as well.